A Columbia woman tells us she is heartbroken after her son is accused of a string of crimes, including shooting at the apartment she lives in. Brant Foytz is now in custody after police searched for him for more than 16 hours in the southern part of Columbia. We began following this story yesterday after a shooting off Hunt Ridge Drive and a police chase, which we now know were incidents Foytz might be responsible for. ABC 17's Marina Diaz begins our team coverage live from the police department. Marina, you spoke with Foytz's mother, Mira Greenway, who told you that her son has struggled leading up to this incident. Morgan Lucas, Mira Greenway told me that her son has had a rocky past, including a few previous felonies. But she said he has never done anything like this, especially aimed at her. And she says while she was scared and sad to know that this was targeted at her, she's more so sorry for the community members who had to hide while he was on the loose. Everyone who had to shelter in place, I'm, I'm horrified and I'm embarrassed. Mira Greenway's son, Brant Foytz, ran from police for more than 16 hours after she says he shot at her apartment complex last night on Hunt Ridge Drive. But his crime spree started two days before that. He had just said, um, uh, why won't you let me in? And uh, had tried banging on the door a lot and, uh, you know, had already been uh, frightening. And he said, you betrayed me. I'm going to bring war back to your door. Greenway says she was in shock on Wednesday when she walked outside and saw that the garage her car was in was completely engulfed in flames. I just really couldn't believe it, but as soon as I saw it, I knew it was him. Luckily, last night Greenway wasn't home when Foyce allegedly fired multiple rounds into her apartment. Never, you know, Mama's always been the, you know, his heart for him, uh, so. The slugs are all somewhere in the ceiling, so I know that he wasn't trying to hit anyone. Morgan Lucas Greenway told me that she and her son have always been close, even when he was in and out of jail. And while she is sorry for those community members who were affected by it, she is grateful for the Columbia Police Department for bringing him in alive. And while those community members were told to hide, and those were the residents in Old Hawthorne, they were advised to stay inside while CPD was looking for feuds earlier today. And I'm here with ABC 17's Nia Henson. Nia, they were alerted through the emergency alert system, and you kind of did some digging and found some information about that system. Yeah, Marina, so while these systems are designed to warn people of potential danger, not everyone actually got one today. So I spoke with Chris Kelly with the Office of Emergency Management about these systems and why everyone didn't actually get one today. A loud buzz to your phone earlier this morning would have notified you of potential danger. And it comes after the Columbia Police Department joined together with the Office of Emergency Management to have the alert pushed out. So what we did today is the police asked us to drop the geofence or the polygon over a certain area where they had information where this individual might have been mm -hmm. to warn those people in that specific area. The alert works by creating a shape on a map that sends the notification to anyone within the shape. People in the old Hawthorne neighborhood told ABC 17 News that some of them got the notification while others did not. But why didn't everyone get it? Chris Kelly with the Office of Emergency Management says it all comes down to your phone. And it's not exactly perfect. Um, you're going to hit cell devices uh, with different devices. If you have a newer technology, your carrier may have a closer tower. Kelly tells me the department had to be registered with both federal emergency management and Homeland Security to be able to send the alerts in Boone County and that certain protocols need to be met to send the alert. This includes police incidents, active shooters, in some extreme weather conditions, and in this case, when an armed person is on the loose. Kelly says he thinks the system is a quick and effective way to warn the public and keep people safe. I think it helps uh, protect our public when we need to send urgent messages. Now, I also spoke with Christian Tayback with the Columbia Police Department earlier today about why this emergency system wasn't used on Monday during that Dove Drive homicide shooting when they were searching for those four suspects that were believed to be armed and dangerous. He tells me it's really just because they didn't have enough information about those people. 
Reporting live in Colombia, alongside Marina Diaz, I'm Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Nia and Marina. Kelly also said any law enforcement agency within Boone County can use the alert system. And a GoFundMe for Mira has been started to help her get another car after it was destroyed in the fire.